The atmosphere is critically important for life on Earth. Whether you're a plant or an animal, you need the atmosphere in order to respire and to take in different elements that are part of the atmosphere. So just to give you the very basic information about the atmosphere, much of this you already know. So the atmosphere, it's, a, it's actually a fairly thin layer of gases that surround Earth. So you can put this in two different ways. You can say it's about 1 one hundredth of the Earth's diameter. So it's really just a thin like sheet or layer around Earth. Um, and that layer is about 100 kilometers thick. So within that 100 kilometers, 75% um, of gases are located only within the first 11 kilometers up, or about 36,000 feet. So that's what you typically go to when you're in an airplane. You hover right around 36,000 feet for cruising altitude, which is the same as about 7 miles in altitude. So um, gravity is what holds the atmosphere close to Earth, and um, thus gravity causes the density of the gas molecules in our atmosphere to be um, denser, closer to the Earth's surface. As you travel up in altitude, the uh, density of gas molecules it thins out. And so if you ever have hiked up a tall mountain, or when you're in an airplane, um, there's less gas molecules surrounding you, air pressure is lower, and it's harder to breathe. And if you go too far up, you cannot get enough oxygen. There are four distinct layers in the atmosphere, which we'll go over in a separate lecture. Um, the major gases within the atmosphere are shown here, and I've spelled them out as dry air and then talking about water vapor. So air is generally not dry. It typically has water vapor in it. Water vapor is on average about 1% of the gases in the air, um, but it can go all the way up to 4% if you're in a very humid environment. Mm -hmm. Dry air has about 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, a little less than 1% argon, and then less than point, so less than 0.05%, so 0.039% carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide is actually a small amount of gas in our atmosphere, however it is critically important as you well know. So again, just to spell out all of the different gases that make up the atmosphere, um, the top four gases that we already discussed make up 99.998% of atmospheric gases. Everything else just makes up a very small percentage. Um, nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, those are all necessary for life. Argon is an inert um, element. And then the rest of these... So sulfur dioxide, we hope it isn't in high levels in our atmosphere. Uh, methane, that's a classic um, greenhouse gas. And um, there's a bunch of other things in here also. So the atmosphere, um, as we discussed, it is a source of life. Um, because it provides these different elements that we need. So it's a source of oxygen for animals. We, we are an animal, so people and animals, other animals. Um, we take in oxygen and then we breathe out carbon dioxide. Plants, in turn, take up carbon dioxide and convert the, that to biomass, and then they also respire or they um, emit oxygen. Uh, their roots actually take in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. So they're a very interesting sort of type of life. Um, and one thing people don't realize, that the carbon that's in plant mass actually comes from the atmosphere. So they're not, plants don't get carbon from the soil. They get carbon primarily from the atmosphere as CO2. Um, bacteria in the soil fix nitrogen. So they take nitrogen gas and they convert it to a form of nitrogen that can be taken up by plants. And this is really important because this is a major source of nitrogen for plants. Um, when you fertilize plants, you're adding nitrogen as one of your main components because plants need a lot of nitrogen to grow. Um, 